Daniel 11, 8. And where else of that, and the Shaman ran in Egypt. And shall also carry captives in Egypt their gods with their princes, and with their precious vessels of silver and of gold. And he shall continue more years than the king of the north. Muhammad Reza Pahlavi, the Shah of Iran, became sick during his last year, years of reign in Iran. During this time, Iran was in turmoil and civil unrest demanding regime change. As a result, this political unrest and sickness forced the Shah's dis dis departure and exile on January 16, 1979. Ayatollah Khomeini replaced him, being invited by President Anwar El Sadat, the Shah temporarily resided in Egypt. For both Sadat and Shah shared the same pro Western views. In the space of nine months, he lived in Morocco, the Bahamas, and Mexico before coming to the United States on October 22, 1979, seeking advanced medical treatment for lymphatic cancer. Later, about two, week, um, about two weeks, or about two weeks later, more than 50 American hostages were taken from the U.S. Embassy in Tehran, which became known as the Iran Hostage Crisis. Khomeini, the new Islamic Republic in Iran, demanded his return to Iran to stand trial in exchange for the release of the hostages. Even though President Carter did not grant their demands, the Shah left the U.S. on December 15, 1979 to live for a short time in Panama. The Shah did not enjoy the freedom of choosing where to live. For many countries refused his admission, and the Shah could not travel without government permission. Thus, he felt captive. As a result, the once popular pro-Western ally or loyal, loyal ally felt abandoned even by the United States, desiring to return to Iran. It was not possible to the Shah that could have been possibly led to his execution. Being granted asylum by President Anwar al-Sadat, the Shah returned and was taken into Egypt, where he spent his final days. You know, the precious vessels of silver and gold could refer to the Western values in which both the Shah and Sadat agreed on. President Sadat had barely finished signing the agreement in Camp David Accords in 1978. On July 27, 1980, the Shah died of cancer and was buried in Cairo, Egypt. Ayatollah Khomeini, the king of the south, died in 1989. The Shah of Iran, the king of the north, was 60 years old. Khomeini was 86 years of age when he died. Thus, the king of the south continued more days than the king of the north. As the scripture says, Anwar al-Sadat was 60 years old when he was assassinated in 1981.